is Claude's new projects feature better than chat GPT's GPTs? Or is it just kind of a clone? All right, we're going to very quickly go through the basics and put the two head to head on a series of super simple questions. And the good thing is I'm going to build them both live. All right. Ready for this? Let's jump in. So uh, if you're new here, well, here's here's essentially what we're going to be doing. All right. So we're going to be going over uh, Claude's new projects feature uh, live and also uh, chat GPT. So uh, like I said, if, if you're new here, this is what we got going on. This is uh, our AI in five. So we do this almost every single day. Quick five minute uh, tutorial on a different AI system or tool that helps you grow your company, grow your career. So uh, my name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. All right. So with that, here's essentially what we are going to be doing. So I have a document here. It is 109 pages. Uh, essentially, it's a transcript of a bunch of different podcast episodes. So we have a daily podcast. This is transcripts. I mean, hundreds of thousands of words. Oh, uh, well, probably, yeah, probably about that. Uh, at least, I don't know, 50, 100,000 words uh, in this 109 page document. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to quickly build a GPT here on the left side. All right. And then we're going to do a new project in Claude on the right side. All right. So, stick with me. There's going to be a little bit of copying and pasting going on here. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. These again, this is unscripted, unedited. You're going to be seeing uh, the entire thing. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go ahead. So on the right hand side, I just did a uh, quick named it. Um, now on the left hand side, uh, I'm using the GPT builder. So I'm just going to say uh, make a photo, save and publish. Yes, I hate doing this live because I type like here, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, so essentially, I'm just trying to get to a baseline uh, where we have a simple uh, GPT and a Claude project uh, going at the same time. And then I'm going to put in some simple configuration instructions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I will say out loud what I'm putting in in each. So here's what I'm going to put in each in the configuration instructions. All right. Same exact thing. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm saying role. You will always first analyze the documents in your knowledge base. Your role will be to go through the knowledge and answer the user's queries. In your role, you should only refer to the files in the knowledge base and not your own internal knowledge base. Task, carefully analyze the question, go through the knowledge base fi uh, files to find the answer and correctly respond with the right answer. Format, unless otherwise stated, please respond with properly formatted paragraph. Include a short headline that pertains to the, to the answer, as well as two to three sentences of additional details and depth. Always include specific details that pertain to the question. Do not waste words and always be as specific as possible. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead on the, uh, let's see. Oh, I got to name this. That's why I didn't name it. I'm like, why can't I save this? All right, cool. So we're going to put our name in there. We're going to create this one on the left-hand side, our GPT. It should be about done. I'm not going to use it in this mode. I'm going to go ahead and use it uh, in this mode here. So we're not in the editing mode. All right, I'm going to save our instructions in Claude. And there we go. We got a head-to-head. -head. Well, actually, we don't. So uh, I need to add the, uh, the file, okay? So again, all this is... It's a 109 page PDF and the information that we're going to be asking is on different pages. So it's not just like all in the beginning, all in the middle. Uh, some of them are early, some are in the middle, some are toward the end. So we have three different questions. All right. So let's go ahead and upload that knowledge base there. There we go. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing. So right away, you'll see there's kind of differences, right? There's differences in Claude and uh, chat GPT, GPT and how it's built. Um, the thing I love about Claude is it gives you, uh, you'll see on the right hand side, it gives you a percentage, right? So it says, uh, 48%. So that gives me the confidence that, Hey, at least it's going to be able to read this file with chat GPT. I have no clue if it's going to be able to accurately handle a hundred plus page PDF. So, uh, the only way to, uh, the only way to find that out is to test it live. Right. All right. So I'm going to get my. Uh, GPT ready. Again, I'm just going to use it in the uh, GPT mode. All right. So now we're going to start. All right. So we're going to start with our first question. All right. 
And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So hopefully you can see, I know there's a lot going on in today's little AI in five. Uh, so let's just get this started. So here is the question. All right. So I'm saying, what did the ex CEO of Google say about the future of search? All right. So you'll see right away, Chad GPT way faster. All right. I even put the, uh, kind of the prompt into Claude first. So let's see which one did a better job. Uh, so let's see, it says the ex CEO of Google dis discussed the future of search, emphasizing a shift toward a more intuitive and personalized experience. He mentioned the search will increasingly leverage AI and machine learning to anticipate user needs, providing the answers before queries are formally formula, uh, formulated. Uh, okay. So technically correct, but technically not a good job. It did not pull out the specifics. So let's see how Claude did. So Claude, here we go. It said Eric Schmidt. That's correct. Uh, got the years. Okay. Believes AI will revolutionize search by providing direct answers without need for traditional web links. Okay. So even though cloud Claude was, uh, took longer, it got it way more correct. Uh, this, uh, the, the answer here from, um, the GPT, was just generic. It really didn't even answer it. Um, you know, I'm wondering, uh, again, these work differently, right? So uh, that's one thing people always overlook about GPTs. I just put a simple prompt in there. Uh, I might run this again, actually. And um, so we're just going to go ahead and run this again. And I'm wondering if this is going to make a difference. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's go back. All right, so give me give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go back into this. So I'm gonna try just one one. I'm gonna try this once. I'm not gonna do this for everyone. So I'm gonna say in the prompt, I'm gonna say, please first refer to your knowledge base carefully before answering. All right, so again, this is something people don't test enough like with GPTs as an example. Uh, so I'm going to see if that, uh, if that does, uh, anything different here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back to my project, uh, in Claude. And we're going to try this again. All right, here we go. So we're going to run the same prompt. We're going to see if that gives us a more accurate, uh, output in chat GPT. So there we go. So this time it looks like it did do a little bit better. It said Eric Schmidt, the ex CEO of Google discussed the future of search, emphasizing the needs. Okay, so let's see if it specifically talked about links. Okay, so it didn't. So it got a little bit better. Uh, and again, more details in Claude. So slower, but more accurate in a more detailed response. So, uh, so far, uh, I would say Claude is winning. All right, so now we're doing a simple one here. And again, this is through the entire uh, you know, hundred plus page document. We're pulling out very small pieces. So we're testing, can it accurately and quickly, uh, you know, grab this knowledge. So now I'm going to go with this next one and I'm saying how much, okay. Wow. I mean, GPT four is fast, but it is not, it was not accurate, uh, in this response here. Um, and I'm wondering too, because let's let's actually look inside chat uh, inside this one. So now now I'm actually a little curious um, if I turn off. All right, give me a second here, y'all. I didn't even look at the capabilities here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the uh, the capabilities here inside of um, ChatGPT again. I was going with simple prompts. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do this one more time because I'm curious uh, if it was actually using browse with Bing uh, to quickly pull that answer and not actually going through the knowledge base. So we're going to try it one more time just out of curiosity. All right. So now, now it just looks like we're kind of getting hallucinations or uh, this is something that's in its knowledge base, even though we did specifically tell it. I'm going to double check to make sure that this stuck around here. Okay. Yep. So. All right, so, so far the GPT is not doing uh, that great. But again, I just wanted to make sure we are getting an accurate head-to-head uh, -head comparison. So uh, let's do one more. All right, and again, this is just one, uh, one example here. So the next one is going to say, uh, what were the specs of the VASA 1 videos created? All right, let's go ahead. 
All right, so here at least it says searching my knowledge. So that's good. It seems like we didn't always get that uh, previously. Okay, so looks over here. All right, so Claude got it right, provided a good amount of detail. Uh, let's look over here. Okay, Chad GPT got it right this time as well. 5 by 12, uh, 512 by 512 pixels, 45 frames per second. So uh, this time, interestingly enough, uh, chat GPT did a little bit of a better of job, at least on the same uh, kind of uh, scope as Claude did. So uh, again, this was a very uh, non-scientific, I want to put that out there. This is a non-scientific head-to-head -head comparison, one huge knowledge file. So in this very limited head-to-head, -head, Claude won. It wasn't really close, right? Uh, ChatGPT was much faster, but it looks like it wasn't always referring back to the knowledge uh, base, even when simply instructed. Uh, however, I do know I've built uh, dozens of uh, GPTs. I just did this as a quick one, right? If I spent more time, I could probably get this to work correctly. I would just do a little bit more prompt engineering in the uh, custom instructions to instruct ChatGPT to make sure it always uh, retrieved the knowledge first before responding back. But hey, out of the box, it wasn't close. Claude did, uh, the new projects feature from Claude did a much better job at accurately and quickly pulling out that information in a very long PDF. All right, so uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know. If you want to see more head-to-head -head comparisons like that, uh, let me know down in the comments here on this YouTube uh, video uh, what you want to see compared next. Uh, so if this was helpful, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.